Hello my lovely Scorpios, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then leave it where it is. In today's reading, we're going to be doing uh, what's blocking you towards your life purpose, your goals, your dreams, and what you can do to release that blockage. Okay, and as I've said that, I've got yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching and exercising. So what you can do to release the blockage was what I said when this card came out, was to do some kind of meditation, yoga, Pilates, or just exercising in general. That could be going out for long walks or something like that. Um, anything, or just or joining a gym with a friend, to how you release the block is going to be your yoga, is to do something that's going to get your body moving, okay? That's what you'll need to do here. You need to get your body moving to be able to release the blockages that are stopping you from reaching your goals. You also got on the bottom of the deck, let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. There's a situation that you're in right now, Scorpio, that that you need to walk away from. You just, you just need to get out of it. You need to walk away from it. It's not serving you no more. It's actually what is blocking you. It's stopping you from moving forward, um, achieving the goals and the dreams and desires that you really want. What The situation you're in, this could be a relationship. It could be a business that you need to call quits on. It could be something to do with work. Maybe you need to go find a different, more fulfilling job. Whatever that is for you, is you need to walk away from it. You need to take the steps to walk away. I mean, for some of you, not all of you, but yoga, exercise, something like that could be in your life path. So you could want to train to be a yoga teacher, Pilates instructor, personal trainer, and um, something along those lines uh, is actually something that you thoroughly enjoyed that you want to bring into your into your life as um as a career. Um, for others of you, it's just like start meditating, start moving your body a bit more, get out of the situation by um, getting some exercise. It will not only clear your head by the answers that the angels are trying to speak to you about. I feel the angels are trying to talk to you um, and you're not hearing them. So they're saying by meditating, doing yoga, clearing that mindset, they'll be able to talk to you and guide you in a direction you need to go in. Yoga is just an option for you to do that. Okay, we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, we've got the Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Temperance card, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the three of swords. So Scorpio, this could lead to a heartbreak. You walking away from something uh, could be a heartbreak for you or for someone else or for both. Okay, so this doesn't necessarily mean that you're walking away from a relationship. It could be walking away from a job that you've been in since you were a kid or something like that. Walking away from family members, walking away from friends, whatever it is that you are holding on to out of loyalty, you need to walk away from it. And it is going to be a bit of a, a, a wrench to be able to walk away from it. But for you to live your life purpose, to you to live your destiny, I feel that is something that's necessary. So what we've got here, Scorpio, um, your current situation is you've been working really, really hard at something. You've put the work in, you've put the effort in, you've really kind of uh, gone quiet and really gone into yourself to do some work. You put the graft in. Maybe this is the thing. Maybe it's to do with promotion here. Maybe that's what you need to walk away from. Uh, maybe you've been working really hard on a business with someone, but you're not getting what you needed out of it. Uh, or maybe it could be that you worked really hard on a promotion at work, but you didn't receive it. You didn't receive the promotion. Someone less qualified, someone that doesn't do as much work, or whatever this may be, they were the one that got the position and not you. Now, all that work that you've done, the angels are saying, don't just throw it away. Now, go and use it. So either go and get a, a further employment. So it could be you're walking away from the current position you're in to get the promotion that you deserve, or I've got a strong energy of starting your own business and doing it your own way. Because you know you've got the skills, you know you've got the talent, you know you've got the know-how, but you're 
your loyalty of staying somewhere is stopping you from progressing. All that work that you've done was for a reason. So it's time to put that work into action now. And the angels have been trying to get through to you with this by asking you to quiet your mind by doing yoga. So they can guide you. They can guide you on what steps you need to take. Now, the Six of Pentacles is your ideal situation. And Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving. I feel that you have given a lot to this company, to this situation, to this relationship, whatever is uh, resonating with you. You've given a lot, but you're not getting anything back. I feel that you're kind of like, I deserve more than this. I deserve to receive things too. I give everything of myself to make sure that this company works uh, the way it needs to work. I, I give myself, I give a lot of myself for my boss to have the things that they need. Um, it could be the fact that I give a lot of myself in this relationship, but I'm not giving anything back. You're starting to realize that you are worthy of receiving as well. And it's not time and it's not just time for you to quit giving. I feel like you need to keep giving, but you're also recognizing now that you need to receive as well. And you deserve to receive things just as much as you give. And if you're not getting that from a situation that you're in, it's time to walk away from it. Now, the blockage you've got here, Scorpio, is the high priestess. I feel that there are things that you are ignoring, that you know there's things here that is kind of not spoken about, but you know that they're there. And I feel that it's time for you now to take off that veil and actually expose the truth of what it actually is so that you can take the steps forward to your, your future. So there might be something going on in a relationship that, we, that everyone knows about, but no one's saying anything. And I feel, or it could be that there's somebody at work that's getting everything and everyone's kind of moaning about them behind their back, but no one's actually saying anything to the person that matters. I feel that it's time to take off that veil, rip that down and actually see what it is for the rarity that it actually is so that you can move forward uh, and progress how you want to progress. So at the moment, that negative energy that is not being spoken about is actually stopping you from moving forward. So by ripping that veil down and seeing what is actually there and being able to openly talk about it with people will actually start moving things and you'll be able to see the path that you need to go down. Now, the solution you have right here is the temperance card. This is going to take a little bit of patience. It's not going to be that you're going to rip this veil down. You're going to see what's really there. And everything is going to be that, you know, the path just magically appears. I feel that it's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of discussion. Um, but you, So you're going to have to be patient. I also feel that you're going to need to find your balance again. Because when we rip something down and we see what's really there it changes things like you you can't hide behind anything no more so it's going to take a, it's going to take you to rebalance yourself recalibrate yourself back into figuring out which direction to go in next you are going to have to have patience and you are going to have to rebalance yourself once you actually uh, see the reality of what's there now, the advice is that you've got the Six of Cups. Now, I've got two kinds of energies here. One is that you might have someone coming from your past back in. I don't feel this is a romantic way. I feel this could be um, an old boss, someone you used to work with, that has an opportunity for you. Um, so I feel that there is somebody from the past that you know who's coming in to give you an opportunity. The second energy I've got here that you need to go and look back on your past and look back on your journey to where you are now because you've missed something. As you were getting to where you are at this point, there was something along the way that you missed. And you need to go back through your past to figure out what it is that, reson that resonates with your current situation now because that little nugget there is going to change everything for your future. So it could be someone coming back from the past to offer you an opportunity or that you need to rewind and, and go within, do yoga, meditate, go within so angel can guide you to the one thing that you kind of, you've missed that you need to go back and get. And the outcome for you right now, Scorpio, is to take some time to rest 
and take some time to recover from this situation. Because I've got a strong feeling of the shit hits the fan type of feeling here. Um, when you um, veil, when you rip the veil down and you see the pure reality of something, um, I feel that things are going to go a little bit upside down. And that's where you're going to need to choose the patience and balance. But once that's all over, I feel that you're going to need to sit back and relax and rest and recover and contemplate what your next move is. And this is opposite the Six of Cups. So it could be that this they've got someone from your past coming in to offer you an opportunity. And you need to sit down and really think about what it is that you want to do. And use your inner wisdom and your knowledge and use your own guidance of which path that you want to take. But the main energy I'm getting here, Scorpio, is that you need to sit back and, and listen to yourself and listen to the universe because they're trying to guide you, but you're not listening. Okay, so sitting back and doing something that clears your mind, the angels will be able to speak to you loud and clearly and help you on your path and which direction to take. You're just not listening to them right now. You're too caught up in something. Okay, so what's the overall message for our lovely Scorpio, please? What's the overall message for our lovely Scorpio, please? Okay, thank you. Yeah, take time out to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Okay, you're so caught up in something right now that you're not listening to anything or hearing anyone. You need to take that time to breathe out, to contemplate what your next move is, to have patience and find balance again, to trust your inner guidance because you've been working on something really hard but you don't believe in yourself enough to be able to do it but you're starting to see that you are worth more than what you have. You're worth a lot more than what you already have. On the bottom of the deck, you do have conclusions are within reach. So this situation that you're in right now, whether that's romantic or work or business or family or whatever it may be, there is going to be a conclusion on its way to you pretty quickly. Okay, you are going to be, um, you are going to find that, that answer that you're seeking. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Scorpio. Thank you for spending that time with me. If you'd like a personal reading done with me, please do just check out the description box below. Uh, my Etsy shop is RM Tarot, and you can book your reading in with me. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell, and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. Any comments, drop them below, and I will respond to you. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.